Well, here we are back with another edition of Ask Dave. And on today's question, what we're going to be dealing with is Aaron's question about are there any beverages that provide electrolytes that aren't high in sugar like a product such as Gatorade? And Erin is training for a half marathon, so of course, not only in her training, but as well as the day of that marathon, electrolytes are going to be one of the most important nutritional factors that she's going to want to optimize. So a little bit of a background on electrolytes, and really, what is the purpose of a product such as Gatorade, okay? So the purpose of a product such as Gatorade or an electrolyte beverage or sports drink is to replenish electrolytes and in some cases even replenish a little bit of carbohydrates so that's the sugar component all right so what are electrolytes the main component of a sports drink electrolytes are minerals that are able to conduct an electrical current or charge within a fluid such as water so in the human body electrolytes help conduct electricity through water in our body Okay, so the primary electrolyte ions are sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, chloride, and phosphorus. Now, sodium is the main ion in extracellular fluid. That's the fluid that our cells bathe in as well as our blood. Potassium is the main ion in intracellular fluid, which is the fluid that's actually inside of our cells. Now, our cells exchange sodium and potassium over something called an ion pump, or we may have heard of sodium potassium pumps. And these are little protein structures actually made from protein within the cell membrane of the cell. And they actually function as little pumps that can both pump potassium into the cell as well as pump excess sodium out of the cell. So, we both know that these, or all of us know, that these are both involved in fluid balance and blood pressure control. So that's very critical to be aware of as well. So, getting back to the electrical concept, muscles and neurons, which are brain cells or nervous system cells, are considered electric tissues. Um, one of my old favorite authors, Dr. Michael Colgan, makes a big deal about the fact that we are electrical is what makes us alive. So this is very critical. Um, both muscles and neurons are activated by electrolyte activity between the extracellular and the intracellular fluid. Electrolytes enter and leave the cell again, remember, through these ion pumps which are in the membrane of the cell. So muscle contraction requires calcium, sodium, as well as potassium. Insufficient amounts of these electrolytes can lead to muscular weakness or even cramps. We've all heard of marathon runners being, you know, 100 yards from the finish line and they cramp up and then they're crawling to the finish line. Or even just muscular weakness. We hear about folks hitting the wall, and uh, which is this concept where you sort of run out of energy and you can barely keep yourself going. That can also be partially or fully related to electrolyte imbalance. Now, electrolyte balance is maintained by oral intake of electrolytes, which means through the mouth. And it's regulated by hormones, many of which are made in the kidney. But we have hormones such as antidiuretic hormone, we have aldosterone or aldosterone, we have parathyroid hormone, as well as others that are all intimately involved with electrolyte balance. Now, electrolyte disturbances, including dehydration and overhydration, might lead to cardiac or neurological complications, uh, all the way up to and including death. So, Again, very important to maintain electrolyte status. Um, oral rehydration therapy is a fancy term for what we might call drinking a sports drink after exercise, um, as opposed to IV rehydration therapy, which is what they'll do if the EMTs pick you up because you collapsed at the marathon. They'll hook you up to an IV and they will start supplying fluids and electrolytes such as potassium, calcium, magnesium, sodium, chloride to your body via the IV. But in our case, we're talking about orally via the mouth, right? So athletes exercising in extreme conditions, meaning, you know, a strenuous activity of two or three hours or longer, very high temperatures, uh, very, very low humidity levels, very high humidity levels, all of these things can contribute to the risk of hyponatremia, which is the fancy term for dehydration. Um, also, there's something known as hypernatremia, where folks get excess water. Occasionally, there are folks that are injured via, uh, in a marathon or something like that via 
uh, hypernatremia through excess water, and again, that often involves water with insufficient amounts of electrolytes in it. So that's where you get too much water, we actually dilute the electrolytes because we're not providing electrolytes within the water. Um, so, electrolytes are going to be found in juices like vegetable and fruit juices. They're going to be found in, of course, vegetables and fruits. Uh, they're going to be found in nuts, milk, and then, of course, sports drinks such as Gatorade are a major source of electrolytes. So, let's talk about some products. So, the answer is yes, there are definitely electrolyte products out there that don't contain sugar. Many, 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 many of them. Uh, first and of all, you've got products like Aqua Hydrate. Um, I always call this Marky Mark Water, but this is Mark Wahlberg's company. And uh, it's interesting because it's a high electrolyte water without sugar, without any artificial flavors or colors. It's just water and electrolytes. And um, interestingly, they prominently display the Trace Minerals Research logo on the bottle. That is arguably the most advanced electrolyte or trace mineral company in the entire nutrition industry. Um, and here at O'Fallon Nutrition, we're really proud of the fact that we carry many trace minerals research products. Uh, this is a liquid form called No Muscle Cramps here. Uh, the idea is that you add this to water in order to add electrolytes to your water. And very simple product, uh, they use something called Ionic Trace Minerals Complex and it provides magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, as well as sulfur. And uh, what you do is you add this to a quart of water or you can even make a shot by adding it to just four ounces of water and they describe that on the instructions. Uh, you have products like electrolyte stamina tabs. These are kind of like the 21st century version of the old salt tablets. So these have a ratio of about two parts potassium to one part sodium. They also include the chloride. They also include the calcium. Uh, but with some additional ingredients such as B6 in a form pyridoxal 5-phosphate, which is required for magnesium absorption. Uh, we have the amino acid taurine. Taurine helps to support intracellular ion levels again. Uh, so really a cool product. And this you would consume the tablets and then drink water with it. Um, we've also got products like the electrolyte stamina power packs here by Trace Minerals Research. So these have one gram of added sugar, far lower than something like Gatorade, but more than the zero that you might find in this or this product. Uh, again, what's going on here, we're emphasizing the electrolytes from the uh, ionic trace minerals that they derive from Salt Lake. This is a Utah-based company. Uh, but they're also gonna combine it with antioxidants, in this case, 1200 milligrams of vitamin C along with a few others, and then B vitamins, uh, to support absorption of some of these ions, these electrolytes, as well as to support energy production in the cell. Um, products like this are really popular, they taste good, they are easy to mix, they actually fizz when you add them to water, and again, no artificial ingredients whatsoever. Then we have products like sea salt. So, sea salt is a great source of sodium, some folks like to add additional sodium to some of these formulas, although they all provide some of it. But if you need to tinker with your sodium potassium ratios, or even if, if some people actually mix up their own electrolyte solutions, uh, there's a famous recipe online called snake juice. Uh, and snake juice uses salt or it uses Morton light salt where it has the potassium and sodium mixed together along with a few other ingredients if one wanted to mix up their own product. Um, and sea salt, let's bear in mind, is different than table salt. Table salt is simply sodium chloride that has been chemically stripped or isolated from all of the other trace minerals that would have been found in nature with the salt. So when you're dealing with something like sea salt, it's going to include trace amounts of all other mineral elements that the human body actually uses. So it's a more complete salt, and again, it doesn't it's thought to be less disturbing to your sodium balance because of its inclusion of these other minerals. Um, then we have products such as this Oxalent Sport Beverage. This is first and foremost an electrolyte drink, but again, like the stamina packets, this is bringing in B vitamins and it's also bringing in some additional ergogenic aids which are thought to be performance supporting ingredients. Uh, that would be ingredients such as creatine bound to magnesium, uh, the amino acid citrulline bound to malic acid. Citrulline helps to support nitric oxide levels. Nitric oxide is thought to support blood flow. 
Um, so you've got really neat mixes like this, which again, this is going to be a low sugar product. It's actually a whole zero grams of sugar, zero grams of carbohydrate, lots of nutrition, no artificial ingredients, non-GMO, no color, you know, no sweetener, that kind of stuff. And I should say no artificial color or sweetener. And then finally, pre-workouts. Pre-workouts are actually getting really interesting these days. So this is an all-natural pre-workout. Many of the pre-workouts on the market are not all-natural. They might include artificial sweeteners very commonly, as well as artificial flavor and color, things like sucralose that a lot of folks are avoiding in uh, the sweetener world. And what's going on here? Right top of the list, we have our electrolytes, then we have our B vitamins and vitamin C, you see the trend here? And then we have performance supporting ingredients. So we have the creatine, we have the citrulline malate, we have ingredients like acetyl L-carnitine, we have arginine alpha-ketoglutarate to support the nitric oxide levels again. Um, so really a cool product. There's even pine bark extract in this product, uh, N-acetylcysteine, so some really potent antioxidants. Uh, and then because it's a pre-workout caffeine, and because this is an all-natural pre-workout, it's 125 milligrams of caffeine derived directly from green tea. Um, and they discuss that right here on the side. And again, our sugar content here is only three grams. Uh, again, far lower than a product such as Gatorade. And something like this could form a little bit of foundation where you might consume it before or small amounts during exercise and then use a caffeine-free source of electrolytes such as any of these products during the exercise or right after it. So Aaron, I hope that answers your question. There really are a ton of options. Uh, Gatorade's what we think of like Kleenex when we think of tissue. Uh, however, there are just tons of products out there that can provide electrolytes and at the same time not give you sugar. Um, Something else I'll throw in here, there are recipes out there that use very small amounts of fruit juice, such as orange juice, maybe a tablespoon of orange juice per cup mixed with sources of electrolytes, and that way you can get a little bit of flavor and a tiny amount of carbohydrate. One thing to keep in mind is it's good to have low amounts of carbohydrate in these beverages so that you absorb them via your stomach more quickly. Higher amounts of sugar, including the amount that would be in something like Gatorade, are a little bit too high, so they actually slow gastric emptying. So there's a lot of sports nutrition literature out there that will point out that while a small amount of carbohydrate can be good if you're looking for that replenishment, you want to keep the concentration of carbohydrate in your sports replacement drink low so that you can actually absorb it across your stomach membrane quickly. So then I think that's good enough on electrolytes for today. Everybody have a happy day, and Aaron, have a great half marathon. Thank you.